Black holes are one of the most fascinating objects in the universe. They are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. Imagine the Earth compressed to the size of a coin. That's the kind of density we're talking about. Black holes form when massive stars collapse at the end of their lives. The star's core implodes, crushing matter into an infinitely small point called a singularity. This singularity is the heart of a black hole, a place where the laws of physics, as we know them, break down. Black holes are not cosmic vacuum cleaners. They don't suck up everything around them. If our sun were to become a black hole, Earth would continue to orbit it, just as it does now. The only difference is that there would be no light or heat coming from the center of our solar system. Black holes come in different sizes. Stellar black holes formed from collapsed stars are relatively small. Supermassive black holes, on the other hand, are millions or even billions of times the mass of our sun. These behemoths lurk at the centers of galaxies, including our own Milky Way. Surrounding every black hole is an invisible boundary called the event horizon. This is the point of no return. Once you cross the event horizon, there's no going back. The gravitational pull is so strong that not even light can escape. Imagine the event horizon as a waterfall. If you're swimming above the falls, you can still escape if you swim hard enough. But once you go over the edge, you're doomed to plunge into the abyss. That's the event horizon in a nutshell. As you approach a black hole, time slows down. This is due to the intense gravity warping the fabric of space-time. From your perspective, you would cross the event horizon and fall towards the singularity without even realizing it. However, to an outside observer, you would appear to slow down and eventually freeze in time at the event horizon. The event horizon is a fascinating and terrifying concept. It's a place where our understanding of physics is pushed to the limit. But it's also a reminder of the immense power and mystery that the universe holds. Multiverses. The concept of black holes birthing new universes ties into an even grander idea cosmological natural selection. Imagine a universe where the physical laws and constants are slightly different from our own. These differences could affect the formation of stars, galaxies, and even life itself. Some universes might be sterile, unable to support any form of complexity. Others might be teeming with life, with conditions even more favorable than our own. Now, let's say that black holes are the mechanism by which universes reproduce. Each new universe inherits some characteristics from its parent universe, but also has its own unique properties. Over time, universes with the most fit physical laws and constants, those that are best suited for creating black holes, would become more common. This is cosmological natural selection in a nutshell. It's a mind-boggling idea, but it offers a tantalizing glimpse into the grand tapestry of the cosmos. It suggests that our universe may not be a random accident, but rather the product of a vast, self-organizing system. 